how you said last night you're not concerned, so I want to ask you that again. But are you seeing any progress, substantial progress in anything right now? Well, I mean, tonight's loss and the last couple are unacceptable. And um, the only way we're going to be able to get is to put the work in as players, as coaches, and we're going to do that. So, um, you know, not concerned. I mean, first game having Debo's back, a little rusty, you know, as far as, you know, turning the ball over a little bit. But we need him to be aggressive, you know, playing with pace, not looking over his shoulder. So, um, but, you know, when you lose the teams, the way we've been getting beat, um, you know, it's unacceptable. Okay. David McMenamin, ESPN, obviously there was some urgency again in the fourth quarter, uh, but it didn't seem like there was enough gas to overcome. You know, I think you got it down to six, and then they, they put on another run. Is that what it is when you, when you guys do make your move, the, the guys don't have enough can't left? Can't sustain it. You know, can't sustain it. And, um, you know, until we you know, get our spirits right, um, it's going to be like this. When you say spirits, what, what do you mean Like together, moving the basketball, moving bodies. Defensively helping a guy when he gets beat, the things we work on every day, but we got to continue to stay on it, continue to keep working on it until they understand. Chris. Chris Fedor, Cleveland had come. Uh, Ty, another slow start in the first quarter. Do you see a common denominator, a theme that's going on with the first quarter lately? Yeah, we're getting boned early, <laughs> early to start the games. And, um, you know, <coughs> second unit's coming in, give us a good lift, give us energy, but um, the first unit, you know, we, we got to be better. Second row, Mom. Well, it's our first game with it, so um, we'll see. You know, tonight was a tough one for us, but like I said, we got to put in the work, coaches, players, and um, get back on track. Do you, do you think it's an issue of playing against teams, you know, that aren't considered the elite of the league? Or? No, just, you know, right now, I don't know if it's in shape-wise or what, but we just, it, teams just look faster than we do. Um, <laughs> at every position. So um, they're running fast, they're sprinting, they're pushing the ball up the floor, and it's like we can't keep up. Peyton Grove, Cleveland.com. Ty, how much of this, the struggles offensively are just missing shots? It looks like Kevin Love had a couple of open looks. J.R. Smith had a couple of open looks. Yeah, we're missing shots. Like guys. Yeah, we're missing shots. And, you know, when you're shooting threes and you're not making them, it's long rebounds, and that gets the team out in transition even, <coughs> even faster. So, um, some of it's making shots, but some of it is just, you know, taking pride defensively, in, you know, in guarding. So, um, you know, we will make shots. I understand that. But, you know, we just got to do a better job all around. Joe. <coughs> Joe Barton, Clean.com. You know, Ty, you said last night that your team is older, and that's why opponents want to run. Um, but and you've also said you're not concerned. But do you see uh, – the possibility, or are you wondering if this team can get to the point where you can run with these guys? Um, I know we will. I know we can for sure. And like I said, um, older team, so um, to drill and run them early in the season, you know, before training camp, with a shortened training camp, it's tough, you know, especially coming off three finals. So um, guys got to get in better shape. We understand that. And a lot of times when we make runs, guys have to come out because they're tired. So, you know, it's, it's got to be a balance. So, you know, getting in shape, but also being smart. Is there also talked about how there's eight new guys here but is there something going on in terms of a complacency or just an expectation that um, the they're going to end up in the finals no i just think you know um having a chance to play with greats you know sometimes it's intimidating <coughs> and um guys got to understand that you know lebron he, he he's a given person you know he's a given player so you know, you got to come in to play your game, and we'll adjust. I think a lot of times we defer to LeBron, or guys are scared to be aggressive, you know, because of that. But um, he's not that type of player at all. So we got to talk about that on Tuesday. Just guys being who you are, you know, being aggressive and um, playing your game. Chris. Ty, tonight it was Tim Hardaway Jr. Last night it was Etwan Moore. A couple nights ago it was Evan Fournier. It seems like defending <laughs> wings have been a problem for you. Can you pinpoint why that is? Um, you know, they've got a lot of movement. You know, a lot of movement sets, you know. But each one got a lot of stuff in the spot-ups because we were helping on Cousins and Davis. But Fournier, um, tonight with Tim Hardaway, just their movement and pace, you know, off the ball um, has been giving us some problems. Dave. Ty Tristan played 19 minutes tonight, didn't get a rebound, and you guys were out-rebounded by 10 as a team. What would you make of Tristan's night? I have to watch it. You know, I have to watch it. But, you know, when you're battling Porzingis, 
you know, he's on the perimeter a lot, so um, he's not going to be able to be under the basket. Um, but I thought, you know, he, he tried to play good defense on Porzingis. He made some tough shots. Um, he's a tough cover because of his length. Um, but, you know, I just got to go back and watch it. But, you know, he's on the perimeter a lot, guard Porzingis. Jason. 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 <laughs> I'm just wondering, what what's the huddle like when you're stuck in a rut like this? Early in the season, you're down 15, 17, 19, whatever it is, to a team like the Knicks. What, what, what's the feeling like in the huddle? What are you saying in a huddle, in a timeout huddle? Um, I never say much. You know, I just if there's something we need to correct or change, I'll talk about that. But um, I mean, our guys understand what it is, and um, they understand when a team like this comes in, they're playing desperate, they're playing against the Cavs, and we're gonna get everybody's best shot. So um, it's not a rah rah, you know, giving a you know, give a rah rah speech or whatever. We just got to be better all around the board.